welcome back to Dusty Coloring. If you're new to the channel, I want to say hello and welcome. Thanks for spending time today. Um, oh, excuse me, I'm out of breath because I'm just running around. Um, today's video is my completed page video for June 2024. I'm kind of wrapping things up a little earlier this month. It's about the 24th of June right now when I'm filming this. And I need to do some other things. Um, I need to log in some other journals, my reading journal. I'm currently making a junk journal type of thing where it's just all of my favorite things. Um, I'm just dedicating pages to things I like and things I don't like. And I just want to focus on that and maybe read a little bit. So this month was kind of an epic fail for me as far as coloring goes. Um, I didn't really get to do half of what I wanted to do. Um, I don't know. I, I did a lot of reorganizing this month in my um, craft space. I kind of redid the room, the layout a little bit. And it just, I don't know, it just kind of took up a lot of my time. I wasn't really comfortable in my space. Still trying to work some things out um, just to get cozy and comfortable. Uh, so I just really haven't been able to color a lot this month. I mean, I did color quite a few things, but you know, the past couple months I've been averaging like 20 pages a month, um, even more. And I just, I have a lot of whips and this month and things I just didn't get to. So let's dive in. Let me show you guys what I have going on a little bit. So, uh, first book I'm going to show you guys is from Reptiloids 2. This is a project book. I need to finish this by the end of this year. And I was able to get my two pages done, but I have to tell you, I got them done late in the month. Um, first page um, is this one, and I love how she came out. Um, I did go through here and base some of the uh, characters' skin um, tones and like items just to make it easier for me. So I uh, started doing this, believe it or not, as you can see, I found out that my polychromos work really well on this paper. I was struggling on this paper, so I was doing alcohol marker only, um, and it worked very well, and I'm very pleased with it. So a lot of this uh, was done here, this whole area here, this whole curtain here was done with polychromos. However, I just, like I said, I was very busy doing other things this month. I didn't get to color, and it was taking a long time, so I kind of went in on this side with pencil and then ended up basing everything else in pencil, um, in marker, I'm sorry, and then went over everything else in pencil. But the polychromos work very well, and um, going forward next month, if I have hopefully more time and more energy and patience to be coloring, um, I'm going to go in with polychromos and just try them out and see what happens. I don't have a full set. I only had a small set of the polychromos, uh, but I have been ordering once a month. I place a little order to Blick, and I just get in a couple colors. So hopefully I'll get that filled, you know. Uh, next page in this book. And I'm, I love how it came out. I had based the dragon already in marker um, previously. And now I just went in and I colored. And again, I had based some of this already. Um, some of this background <clears throat> is in alcohol marker. But some of this background was with a uh, gel pen. But my gel pen was running out. So... I nixed it and I went in with alcohol marker. I have some, I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, sorry for the shadow. I'm kind of using natural light today. This, um, well, it's gold. It's a gold gel pen. Um, so it looks a little bit metallic. Yeah, and I had a lot of fun coloring this page. It was, it was fun. It did take a while though. Again, I, I don't know. I think because my space was disrupted um, oh, and look, I I didn't do it. I'm going to do it right now. I had posted on face on Instagram this page, and then I was like, oh, I just have to do the eyes. And I hadn't done the eyes, so I'm going to go in right now, and I'm going to do the eyes, because if I don't do the eyes, it's going to bother me, because I'm going to forget again. And we're just going to go in with some blue. And I don't have a blue pencil next to me, so we're just going to go in with... You're just going to leave it kind of marker because you know what? If I don't do it now, I'm not going to do it. And then it's just going to be 
is going to bother me. So I apologize, but I just need to get this done. Um, where is my white pen? All right. Now, now I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> so, and that's done. It's funny. Like I I'll fix the eyes up at another point, but um, since I'm planning to complete this book by the end of the year, once it's done, I'm going to go through and check things out and make sure everything's the way I like it and maybe add some things or, you know, little stuff like that. So anyway, this is Reptoids 2. I really wish he would make a three. I really love these books. I just, I love them. All right. Sorry for my arm. Okay. Next up. Okay. Here's, uh, oh, so I just want to show you guys too. Oh, um, this, I, Oh my God, I can't even talk this morning. I purchased a couple of books um, and they're not enough to do a video on its own. So I'm just going to show you guys. I purchased the Coloring Heaven's Pocket Size Fairy Tales um, book and this is by Selena Fennick. Now I have her book, but I do like the pocket size books and I um, liked the paper in the Magic Jars pocket size. So I'm hoping this paper, you know, it's the same, um, gives me the same feel when I'm coloring, but I absolutely... I just love the pocket size. I really wanted a color in this book this month, um, but I didn't get around to it. So I'm hoping next month I can, I'll add it to my list, pick a page with you guys when I do my coloring plan video. But yeah, so that was one of my purchases. I have another purchase too, I believe. I have to put this. Um, another purchase this month, which I colored in was my Smurfs book by the Colorage, uh, the Mystery, Mystere, the Hatchet Heroes. Okay, I love this book. If you've watched my previous videos, you guys know I struggle with the color by numbers because I can't see. <laughs> I have glasses for reading, but they're not a good um, prescription and I haven't fixed it yet. I, I have it, I just haven't gone to the place to have them change it. It's like every time I look up, I can't see. I can only see if it's right in front of my face and it's very, very annoying. So I don't really wear them because it gives me a headache, but I can't see. So I was coloring. I colored a page. It took me a really long time, but I did it in sunlight. I, um, and I have a whip in here too. But. So the first page I colored and did I go, uh, <laughs> I went big guys. The first page I colored, I did this page. I went right in and did a double page spread. I did it in sunlight so I could see what I was doing right by the window. And it actually, oh, look, it came off because it was still wet. My bad. Um, it, it actually wasn't as bad as I thought because even though it was a double page spread, it was a lot of color blocking number, like number areas. Like all this was like one color. So it wasn't bad. So I'm hoping the other double page spreads are kind of along the same lines where they just give you a big chunk of same space numbers help it go faster because it really is just adorable. So I did use a couple, I used acrylic paint pens. For the outline, I find that um, a pigment liner or even a micron, but the biggest nib works really, really well to outline them, to do the out the black outlines. It kind of fits perfect in some spaces. Um, this is a pigment liner 1.2. Um, and it's like the large one. So, and I have a micron, which is large as well. And I find they work, they're working really well for me. Um, and then I use just a combination of acrylic paint pens. For the large areas, I'm using brush tip acrylic paint pens because it goes faster. Um, and then I think I have, I have the Ohuhu brush, no, the Thule Art brush tip I use. And it worked really, really well. Um, However, it's not a big selection, so I had to bring in, I brought in some, uh, I brought in some fine nib Thule Art paint pens. I brought in some Ohuhu um, acrylic paint pens and uh, some Pintar. So I, I was just pretty much pulling out whatever I had. And I, for me, I find I don't really go by down here. I mean, I, I use it as a guide, but I am cheating. I am looking in the back. I am looking at the picture to see exactly what the colors look like. I find they differ very little um, from what's down here, which is weird, but not really, but it just works better for me. So that's what I'm doing. 
And next month I have a buddy color with the lovely Christina from Christina's Art Corner. And we are going to do the double page spread, the first two pages in the book. So I'm really excited about that because this right now is my favorite. Now I have the two Looney Tunes and they were my favorite, um, but this is my favorite right now. So that will be back in for next month. Um, and speaking of Christina, from Christina's Art Corner, we had a buddy color going in this book. And it turns out that she colored uh, she colored the wrong page. And um, yeah, so it, we, we laughed. She colored the opposite page. So she colored this page and her page came out, came out amazing. I'm kind of glad I didn't color this one with her because uh, her page just came out so amazing. <laughs> I, I would have been like, ah, because I don't know. What she did with this page was stunning. But I colored this page. Um, and for this page, I used um, washi tape background, but I didn't really feel like cutting it like in the little spaces. So I cut it for the big spaces. And then I don't know, you can tell a little bit because I couldn't match the color that well. I kind of drew in wood for other spaces just because I was lazy and I didn't really feel like cutting it with the X-Acto knife to get it into the small spaces. And I kind of figured I was going to do that. That's why I picked this one because I felt like this one was easiest for me to kind of mimic um I just couldn't find the right colors didn't look very well to be honest but yeah I feel like I have to do backgrounds and um flooring and border off these pages a little bit because the images are kind of just floating around but loving this book and just having a really good time coloring in this book so yeah and this is the coloring um your octopus by Brian Kessinger Give me one second. I just have to respond to an email. Okay. You're going to be hearing my email go off now and then. All right. Um, another project book for me, but not with a deadline, is Portrait of the Mermaid. Pretty much I'm just trying to complete this book. I want to color a page a month, but... You know what? I don't love this book. It's just something I wanted to do. I just wanted to challenge myself a little bit, but I didn't really feel it. And since I wasn't really coloring too much this month, um, I kind of felt like I wanted to just, if I wasn't feeling it, I didn't color it. So this is pretty much left as a whip. Um, I use alcohol marker. I can't even remember which pencils I use, to be honest. I think I did a combination I was just pulling colors out uh, I have polychromos by me but I don't have a full set so I might have dipped into the prismas maybe I'll go back to this in July I don't know for myself for a book I'm not the images I love but I'm not a fan of the paper I think I did pretty well I went strong for six months coloring in it but I'm losing steam but I'm gonna keep trying because it's just a page a month but like I said it's not something I'm goal to complete so I'm not worried if I don't, you know, complete another page. Maybe I'll just work on my whip. Um, yeah, so and this is Portrait of a Mermaid. And I, I love the images in this book. I'm just not a fan of the backgrounds with these um, things. Like this whole thing. And I'm not a fan of the paper. Like I really don't like the paper. For some reason this paper just, I'm struggling with it. So yeah, so this is Portrait of the Mermaid. I purchased garden gnomes. Oh, I had some other things in here that I didn't get to do. Okay. Um, and I kind of was playing around. So I was playing around with here because this is um, Creative Haven's books. I struggle with the paper as well. But... I gave it a go um, and I found again my polychromos are working well but I'm still basing in marker because it just kind of it's just quicker so I didn't get to finish this but um, the flowers I based in um, super tips I was just trying some things out and I actually just colored them with super tips only so I'm trying to find my groove in these books but I really do like this one the garden gnomes um, I started this one too I wanted to do the rainbow page for pride month um, but I just kind of wasn't feeling the rest of it so I'm, I stopped so maybe I'll dip back into it, maybe not. 
Uh, we'll see how it goes next month, but I really, I do like this book a lot. I had printed out a page from Daria Kekrasoy, and I am a member of Hannah Lynn's Patreon, um, but I didn't get to find them. And they are summertime pages, so maybe I will try and get them colored. Well, this one's not, but maybe I'll try and get them colored in July. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try. So I did try and color in a couple of other color by number books. These I had. This is the best of Grand Classiques. Um, I had some epic fails, but I was practicing in these books because I kind of was anticipating the arrival of my Smurfs book. So I was trying out different things. So um, this one, I just, I did the, this originally with my super tips and I just, I don't like the way they come out. Um, I know a lot of people use them in these books, but they are way too streaky for me and I'm not looking to, to try and make them work right. For small areas, they're better, but I did not like it. So I try to go over with acrylic paint. Um, I do not like how this page came out, but again, I was just trying things out to see because I knew my Smurf one was coming. So yeah, but not a fan of how this page came out, but I did give it a go. Um, this was one I had done in the past. This one was done with only pencil, and I do like how she's coming out, but the pencil was taking a really long time, and this is when I first got the book, and pencil for me is just not the way to go in these books unless I have a lot, a lot of time. So, yeah, so that one was my whip. Um, I also, now these are my favorites, the Looney Tunes. Um... So I was trying in here too, and I don't know, I had a couple epic fails in here as well. Um, I started to do an outline here, and I stopped. Um, this one was a whip. Um, I stopped. But this was the one I was doing this month. Um, I stopped. Yeah. Let's do try another one in here. No, that was something else. But again, that was with Super Tip. Yeah, so... This is the Looney Tunes. Now, this, I think there's two volumes of Looney Tunes. So. Yeah. But this is, um, I think this is the first one. Yeah, but I love these. All right, next up is the monthly color along hosted by Christina from Christina's Art Corner. I also believe Amanda and um, uh, Disney Meg they are coloring um but they're doing i believe theirs is in the um cap coloring book cafe's version there are two versions of this book um this is a coloring heaven one this is the one that i have so this is the one i'm doing with um christina from christina's art corner she picked out a page and i believe this was the page for june and this one i love this book so i'm glad you know i'm trying to color along with her um her monthly color alongs so yeah this I use I base an alcohol marker and I go over with pencil or I just color it with marker like the beehive I just shaded with alcohol marker on its own and then I did go in with a little shading um, on the flower on the on the leaves but I think everything else I'm pretty much just trying to shade with alcohol marker when I do it in this book now and I use my hoo hoo brush tip or fine tip depending on where I'm sitting. If I'm sitting on a couch watching TV, I'm using my fine tip. If I'm at the desk, I'm using my brush tip. And I'm gonna do a video and show you guys my space. Um, even though I have another piece of furniture coming, I'm gonna show you guys. So stay tuned for that video. <clears throat> Here we have our floating 3D mandala book. Um, and I use this for color palettes. And every month I do three. I do try and do more, but it just doesn't work. Um, so this one was Coloring the Movies, I believe by Jamie's Coloring Love. And what she does is she picks a movie, a theme, and then you just color the colors affiliated with that. So I believe it was Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean. So um, I used the colors and I did this page. The next one was the AC Palette Challenge. by Amanda Colors, and um, she picked out um, one of the Sarah Nate Clark color cubes, and then you just follow, and I did this. I mean, you don't have to 
use mandalas. I'm just choosing to do mandalas because I find it's easier. And then Disney Meg holds the Disney Meg um, mandala one where she picks a Disney character. And I, her, this month was Minnie Mouse. And this was the variation of Minnie Mouse I chose. So I went in with black, red, and golds and some white. And I always use white to highlight and accent mine because I just want to. Um, yeah. Because I feel like it just makes it pop and I just, I want them to look semi-decent in my book. I don't know. But, yeah. Always super fun. And because of their three challenges, they really made coloring these guys a lot more fun for me because I always hated coloring them. Um, I do have a buddy color with Disney Meg, but it is really more slated for July. Um, we've been, you know, doing a page a month of coloring in um, Kevin Tao's Funny Tales. Um, she had a busy month and we were going to do this in July, but I wanted to do mine in June. Um, well, basically it was June extended into July. But the reason I did mine so quickly was because there was a, a color challenge out for purple eyes and purple hair and the description will be either across the screen i forget who hosted it I'm sorry um or in the description box so that's why i wanted to do it now um so yeah <clears throat> so that's why i did this um so quickly i just felt like it would be perfect for the purple hair purple eyes um so yeah so this was our so i don't have hers to show you uh but i will um post on instagram when she does hers in July, I will repost this on Instagram so you guys can see the comparison. And it's always a pleasure coloring with you, Megan. Thank you so much. I finally got to color in um, a Mandine Jugs Freak, Mandine Jung's Freaks book. I have the PDF version and I actually love this book. And I've been hitting pages here and there. It's on my list of books to complete eventually, and I really have not colored at all in it this year. And I just decided, okay, let's just get a page done because what that was my goal was to try and color in it a lot this year, and it just didn't work out. So I was able to color the bearded lady. Um, I used alcohol marker, went over it with some uh, either Prismacolor or Polychromos. I'm not sure which one, I can't remember. And then for the background, it's just the distressed ink sprinkled with a little bit of water to give it that like splatter look. And then I bordered it with washi tape. These pages don't come with a background. They're usually just the image like front and center. So I either border it off um, to reduce the background space so I can color it or I just leave it as, as is and washi tape it. Hopefully, maybe I'll get another page done next month. I'm not sure. We'll see. Then, um, this is another project book. This is the uh, World Literature by Erie. And I'm trying to do a page a month. It is on my list of books to complete eventually. And I colored... Um, it's so weird because I feel like... I think I colored, I think this was my June page. Everything is just, I feel like meshing into one. <laughs> so hold on, let me take this clip off. I think I put that just to hold it down, so that's why it's throwing me off. Yeah. Oh, I started to color this page, just maybe thought maybe I would get a second page done, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, so I colored this page for June. I feel like that's wrong, though. <laughs> um... I'm lying. I need to look. Hang on, guys. You know, like, I feel like I can't, like, the months, they just, like, June, I feel like June went so fast, and I just want to make sure, because I don't know. I, just, I have my coloring journal thing here. Yes, okay. I'm not losing my mind. I did. This was my June page. I may have started it at the end of May. I think that's what maybe was throwing me off. So the background, I used a watercolor paint that was supposed to have, um, it was supposed to look like this. I don't know if you can see, there's like glitter in it. But for some reason, it did not lay down as well. 
Now, I spray these pages, and I know I'm using a workable fixative, so I can, you know, if I ever wanted to go over on the pages, you could. That's what it's for. But I feel like it is changing the texture, and I feel like it got on this page because that did not lay down. It was kind of like it was rolling off, to be honest. So I let it dry, and then I just went over with black acrylic paint. It did come through a little bit, some of the glitter, but for the most part, it didn't come out 100% the way I wanted it to. I had a different image in my head on how I wanted this to come out, and it just didn't work out. But this is um, Prismacolor, Pablo, and maybe Polychromos. It kind of went all out because, again, um, some pages in here I'm finding I'm coloring better than others. But my Prismacolor, I don't know, it, obviously, it's probably just my hand and how I feel that day when I'm coloring, but yeah. Oh, and Luminance. This was done with Luminance up here. Luminance. This is all Luminance, and then I went in a little bit with some Pablo. Um, but for the most part, it was Luminance, not Polychromos. So I will try and get that page... I'm doing the whip on for next month, but I do want to, I'm using this pen for the background. It'd be nice if I held it the right way. Nope, I was holding it the right way. You just can't see it because it's like so light. And I got these off Timo actually. They actually flow pretty, pretty well. Some are better than others for the background. Um, I have a set that works beautifully. Um, this is like a pastel kind of set and they're working still good, but there is a little bit of what they call it railroading when it's kind of like pulls off the color as you're coloring. Maybe it's not railroading and I just made that up. I don't know. But yeah. I finally finished my long-standing whip in Dark Fantasy. I love this book. This is by Jade Summer. It's right up my street. It's creepy. It's gory. I love these kind of books. It's grayscale. And I had started coloring the Play Doctor, Plague Doctor months ago and I never finished it. And I finally finished it this month. And basically it was all I had to really do was add. And you can't even see it. Oh, You can't even see it. It's just some glitter. You can't see it on camera. In the smoke. And that was it. It was really a, nothing extravagant. It's just alcohol marker. But I just never went back to finish it. Um, yeah, and I feel like the glitter, I don't remember what, oh, I used Sakura Stardust on it. So I feel like sometimes that kind of flakes off a little bit. Um, it was much more pronounced when I did it. And now I feel like it's not. But that's okay because I finished it and then um, I'll start another one. Hold on one second. And that is Dark Fantasy by Jade Summer. And I really like this book. I don't know if I'm going to color in it next month, um, but we'll see. Oh, one of my... I am trying so hard to do as many pages as I can in this book this month. His new book comes out next year. And I feel like that's going to be my main focus for a while. Um, of course, I'm going to color other pages, but I'm just looking so forward to it. But I really want to color like a page a month. And I really wanted to do two pages this month. I think I even said it in my last video. I did not get to it. I did one page. I did the Medusa page. And um, she came out a little bit of how I wanted her to. But I feel like... I could have went a little bit more with her skin tone to make it a little bit more pop. Um, but I didn't. And again, I guess I just, you know, sometimes you have months where you color better than others or you're more into it. And I really wasn't 100% into it this month, like I said, because I had so much going on. But I love coloring. So it just, I wanted to do it. But I didn't have the time to put my, to put the love into it, I guess you could say. But I am happy with how it came out. I was looking to do something along these lines with um, this page. So, why does this do this all the time? Sorry. This is my computer. It's just doing, like, weird things. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
Um, but I never got to do another page. I did want to try and do two single pages this month and it didn't happen. So we'll see what happens for next month. Oh, and I use only Prismacolor. Uh, where is, where is she? Prismacolor and Neo, Neo 2 for the background. And that is Mythomorphia by Kirby. Um, and then, so this is the last completed page. And then I'm just going to show you some whips. And then I'm going to just go through the books that I wanted to color in that I didn't. Just for, for you guys who are looking for inspiration or just wanted to see what I had. Maybe you didn't see my other videos. So if you did watch my other videos, um, this is the last completed page. You can bow out after this if you'd like. If you just want to see what other books I didn't color in. Um, just to see what's out there. By all means, stick around. Um, this was Gnomes in the Neighborhood. This is by Denise Klett. And I haven't really ever colored a page. And I was so excited I colored this page. And I just had such a fun time actually coloring this page. Um, I don't 100% love this book. Um, but some pages are super cute. So basically, I just think I used my Prisma colors in here. Um, I used acrylic paint pen to black out, to black out, to take off away some of the black lines. I used a cloud stencil background with distressed ink. And I had a really fun time coloring this page. It came out really cute. It was just a fun page. It just made me smile. That's why I colored it. There were a couple of other ones I had flagged that I maybe wanted to color. But this was the one that I ultimately went with in the end. And it was just so much fun. She's got a goblin book coming out. I'm kind of hoping I'm going to like that book. You know, hard things tend to be on the cute side. Um, I did want to color that page too, and I didn't. But yeah. So I had a lot of fun. Super cute. Gnomes in the neighborhood. All right. And then uh, some whips I have. This was a book I wanted to complete eventually. I was trying to color a page a month. And um, I was coloring this page, and I was trying to do for Pride Month rainbow um, rubber duckies, but I just didn't feel like coloring anymore in this. Just didn't feel like coloring it. So I will try and go back to this page at some point. I wrote down the color of the pen I used here because this is gel pen. Um, but whether or not I actually get back to it, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not going to make myself color. I hate having whips, but if I pull this book out in July and a different page is calling out to me when I go through this to pick a page, um, and that's the page that sticks in July, then I'm just going to color it and not worry about my whips. But my thought and process on this was to color all the Ducks Rainbow colors for Pride Month. I thought that would be cute, but I just never finished it. Yeah. Kind of lost a little bit of steam with this book because I went in so... Fast and Furious with it. I have two whips in this book. I hate having whips, but I don't beat myself up over it anymore. Here was another one where I was using a floor uh, washi tape. So this is the Art Therapy, the new one by du Diane Dufour, the teddy bear book. Really cute book, though. Um, some books that I wanted to get to. I still have my long-standing whoop in Spirit Animals. This is going on months now. This is the page, and I just don't really have the oomph to finish her right now. And this was one of those books I wanted to go in hard with and color a page a month, and I have not even touched it again. So, shame on me. Um, I have pulled two Molly Harrison books, and I never got to color in them. I had Fairyland and Encha Enchanted Fairy and Fairyland, and I never colored in them. I had kept out Island Cuties by Joshua Dunbar. Very cute book. Colored in it from Mermay. Thought maybe I would do a quick coloring in June, and I never did. Alexander Franzis, um, Cute and Magical. I really wanted to color a page in here, and I just never got to it. I have a whip. A whip, but I, I never, never took it out for this month. This book, I was supposed to do a color along this month with you guys, showing you how I use alcohol marker base and how I color over it. Again, I'm so sorry. I just, I never got to it. I really wanted to color in this book this month. Um, 
I had a bunch of pages picked out. I was looking really forward to it, but um, I just, I, did, I didn't. This is Jasmine Beck Griffith, and I had a lot of fun coloring in her book, her mermaid book for Mermaid, and thought I could have so much fun, and I had so many thoughts and ideas, and I just, I don't know, I started to move furniture, and everything just kind of fell out the window. Um, Mr. Garmir is, he has a book I'm not 100% in love with, but I did want to color a page, and I never got to it. Maybe I will throw it in in July. I'll see what the hair and eye challenge is, and maybe I can get that done. But I don't know. I am missing a book. Um, if you guys are did stick around, um, I for, I didn't show you guys, and shame on me. But um, this is my book to complete in twenty four. Sorry, I I didn't show it. Is Fierce and Fancy Faces by Hannah Lynn. And I was able to do, I have to do two a month to complete by the end of the year. But I'm actually going to finish by September if I keep it up. So I'm not too upset. I have a whip. Here's my whip. So I never got to finish it. Um, I'm just going to add it to July. Um, like I said, I'm not too worried. I had pages colored in it previously and decided to just finish the book this year. So I'm not too upset. I'll just I'll just do three next month. But this is my completed one. And I really, really like how she came out. It is alcohol based. Um, I stick it on black cardstock because I have the PDF version. I trim it down and stick it on cardstock. Um, alcohol base. And then I went over it with polychromos. Yeah, so those are my two in fierce and fancy faces. And then my coloring plan video, I'll show it again for those of you who maybe didn't stick around and didn't get to see it. And then just real quick, I purchased a Mythographic Wild Summer. And I am currently doing a whip. So I'm going to add this to July. That's my whip so far. But I did want to color in Magical Earth and Menagerie, and I did not. I wanted to color in Rita Berman's Asian, I did not. Ay, ay, ay. I did not color in Cat 22, which is a project book to finish, but eventually I did not get to color in RJ Hampton's Lost and Found, like I wanted. I did not color in Minnie Mania 3 as I wanted. She's coming out with five, but I think I'm gonna save that for Christmas for me. Uh, Morgan O'Brien just released another digital version book, Rainy Day, Matchstick Mouse. Check it out. I think it's on his Ko-Fi. Follow him on Instagram. Um, I think you can get the information. Um, and I, But I wanted to color in the Big Adventure coloring book, and I didn't get to it. Tatiana Bogema Stolova came out with an alien, a space-themed coloring book. I purchased the PDF. I had a whip going for since May. I may have started this at the end of April, to be honest. Maybe May, I can't remember, but I did not finish it. I wanted to color um, this from May. This was Tropagoth. Didn't get to it. Here's another long-standing whip by Mariola Budek. Did not get to it. Wanted to color this page from Freaks, but I ended up coloring the Bearded Lady. And that is it, guys. So, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot I did not get to this month. It's okay. It happened, but I am going to show you guys my craft space. I am waiting for furniture to come in one piece, but you know what? By the time that comes in and my husband helps me put it together, um, I mean, I could put it together myself, but I kind of just don't want to, to, to be honest. I'm just like, oh, I'm done. Um, but yeah, so either by the time he helps me do it or I do it, I don't know. So I'll show you guys what I did so far, what I have going on. Um, I know a lot of people like to see those kind of things. I love looking at people's craft space. It gives me ideas and stuff. So I will show you guys a video on that. That'll be coming shortly. But again, thank you all for watching. Sorry this video was a little all over the place. I'm kind of watching my work computer and uh, kind of just looking around. Um, yeah, but thank you all for watching. I appreciate you. Um, please remember to like and subscribe as it helps out my channel. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.